Hi everyone and thank you for joining us for another video here on Jurassic Collectibles. So today we have got another item from the Beasts and Mesozoic team. Massive thank you to David from Creative Beast Studios for sending this our way. You can see that this is the Ceratopsian series 118th scale dinosaur action figures. Centrosaurus Apertus Brackets Juvenile. You can see the Centrosaurus in the packaging there, looking absolutely gorgeous. Lots of nice browns um, and kind of rusty colours on this one. You can see on the top of the packaging, 19 points of articulation, realistic movement and detail, profile card included. And that gorgeous beast of the Mesozoic packaging. And uh, you can see a little dent there. Do not worry about that, as with the last figure we looked at, this is not the final packaging. The final packaging is going to be a thicker card and it will be uh, a lot more glossy as well. So this is kind of sample packaging, uh, but it will look similar design wise. Obviously just different materials will be used. And you can see on the back, all of the figures in wave two, there are some more hidden behind here. We'll take a look at in a moment. You can see collectible card inside length up to six meters dinosaur park formation in alberta canada and centrosaurus was a herd animal as is evidenced by the vast bone beds that have been found because of this it is one of the most researched dinosaurs and is also one of the few species with fossilized skin impressions and you can see art by Raul ramos as well and we can slide off the sleeve there to reveal all of the figures in wave one again i'm not going to go through all the names we've done that before but lots of fantastic looking figures in this assortment and then on the base of the figure we do have all of the people involved in making this possible check out creativebeast.com and there will be a link in the description to the pre-order for this figure in particular and with all of that said it is time to get the Centrosaurus out of the packaging. So just like the last one, we've got a single uh, piece of tape just on the side here to cut open. And pulling the figure out. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you can see it helps if I actually open it up properly. There we go we have got the figure out of the packaging. Now, just like with the figure we looked at in the last review, the Chasmosaurus, we do get a gorgeous, gorgeous card on the inside. This one with lots of kind of leaves and pieces of vegetation and trees. Looks really great and would be really useful for display if you're putting this in like a display case. Really cool to get a backdrop included. Um, and then, of course, we have got the figure itself, which is looking gorgeous. So we are going to grab the information here. Same as with the last figure, it's advised that you heat it before you attach the tail, um, as you can see just there. So dip it in the hot water for 20 seconds and then attach the tail to the ball joint. We do get the Centrosaurus fact card. You can pause and read through that if you wish. Uh, Centrosaurus was a herd animal. Kind of the same information that's on the back of the packaging as well. And just to give you a better look at that gorgeous artwork, you can see there, that is beautiful. So really, really cool facts card. Uh, we're gonna take the figure off screen to cut it open and then in a moment, we will come back with the figure heated, the tail attached, and we will take a look. Okay, so we're bringing the figure back into the shot here. We're gonna zoom ourselves in so we can take a better look. So here is the Centrosaurus. And this is another really, really impressive figure uh, in the Beast of the Mesozoic collection. So, if we bring the figure a little bit closer to the camera, you can see there is some truly beautiful detail on the face of this one. That yellow eye looks good. You've got dark blacks, browns, this kind of rusty brown colour. 
darker colours on the tip of the horn, greys for all of the crest overlays, which look really, really good, grey highlights for kind of the little extrusions coming up, uh, almost like little horns, and then obviously greys around the mouth. You do get the opening mouth here, got to be a bit gentle with that, but you can see that the mouth there there is a tongue in there, but it's a slightly darker colour, which is really cool. It kind of blends more, makes sense. You can see it's actually fairly pronounced. It's well sculpted in there. The figure then with its mouth open looks really, really good. And then as we continue along the figure, you can see that this one really, really pops uh, from the backdrop. If we get that to focus itself. You can see that there is just a lot of paintwork applied to this figure, which looks really, really cool. You've got kind of the rusty colour stripes here, with kind of the lighter grey colours painted in to add some extra detailing. You've got shadowing in the sculpt with the darker brown colours. And what's really, really prevalent here is the texture work in the sculpt itself. You can see that the skin there is really, really refined in terms of the detail in the sculpting and it really, really pops out um, and kind of just adds another level of depth to this figure. You can see a better look down the neck towards the crest again there, looks good, nice overlap back there, and a really, really nice kind of colour stripe which carries along this figure, so looks cool. You've got this brighter kind of tan coloured underbelly, you can see some gorgeous sculpt work in there as well again. And this tan colour kind of runs down the inside of the legs and then onto the feet at the bottom there as well. And the legs do look really, really good. You've got a nice level of musculature sculpt work in them. You can see the hind leg here, it kind of has a bend to it, sort of like a 30 degree angle, which looks cool, helps to make it feel dynamic. And um, you can obviously straighten that up, but that's how it comes packaged and it looks quite good. Um, and you can see that the colours do continue down the leg into sort of the foot there as well. And then obviously the paw prints there. So it does look really, really cool. You've got the tail here, which obviously plugs into the ball joint. You get a good range of motion because of that. And you've got some really, really nice coloration in that tail as well. Sort of a darker colour going up. And then this darker colour is faded into at the back here as well, which is quite nice. So aesthetic wise this figure looks really really stunning, I think the colour in particular with this one is really nice, quite earthy, quite dark, this is the kind of colour scheme that I really like in my dinosaur figures when it comes to personal preference, uh, so for me this looks really really awesome. Um, so in terms of articulation, very very similar to the Chasmosaurus, obviously 19 points of articulation so very very dynamic we've got the opening mouth which can close got a ball joint here a joint in the neck as well so you can get some good range of motion a joint in the center here the legs will come out go in and out you've got joints there which hinge you've got hinges and swivels on the uh, feet for this one then the legs at the back here swivel go in and out a little bit, again they bend, same articulation here, you have an additional little ankle joint here as well, and also a ball joint for the tail. So really really well articulated action figure, you can see very very easy to adjust it to get more naturalistic looking poses, and actually if I bring in the Chasmosaurus from the last video, and we just look at them together, you can see that this is a really nice assortment of figures which scales really, really well. Actually, they look really, really good together. And if we then bring in Alan Grant, you can see at the end <laughs> that it's just awesome to have these 1 18th scale dinosaurs with this level of detail packed into them. That can then be used with Mattel figures as well. It's really, really cool. So, bringing the Chasmosaurus back out of the shot, bringing the Centrosaurus back in. I do just want to make note that this is obviously a juvenile, so this size here compared to that Chasmosaurus, this is obviously an adult, this is a juvenile, so an adult Centrosaurus would be even bigger than this. But again, a absolutely gorgeous figure. 
I think David has really, really knocked it out of the park with this Ceratopsian line. Obviously, Ceratopsians themselves are animals which we see quite a bit of in dinosaur extended media. Triceratops in particular, very, very popular. Uh, but with these figures, he's brought a range of really, really diverse dinosaurs into the limelight, which is awesome. Um, and I think that the results here really do speak for themselves. So if you are looking to pick this one up, there is a pre-order link in the description down below. Also a link to the shop where you can find all of the products from Creative Beast Studios and the Beast of the Mesozoic line. Um, and yeah, with all of that said, David, thank you for sending this our way to take a look at. I really hope you guys have enjoyed a look at two of the upcoming figures from the 118th scale Ceratopsian series. And until the next time, guys, take care and have a great week.